Hey, welcome to my home. Come on in. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Sandy Things. Um, if you're new, welcome. I hope that you stay and I hope that you subscribe and that you hit the bell so then that way you can get notified every time I do a video. And if you are one of my subscribers, welcome back. Good to see you guys. Um, I know it's been a bit, <laughs> but I'm here. I did a fall video for you guys. And so I'm gonna share a little bit of what I did this year. But anyways, let's start with this shelf unit right here. And um, just explaining a little bit of what I did. As you guys know, the ones that have seen my, my uh, uh, YouTube channel before, you guys know that I like to always um, combine like uh, different types of uh, textures and stuff like that. So this time I did glass, ceramic, and um, it's a faux pumpkin. It's, it's obviously, it's not real, but I wanted to do something um, very simple but sweet. I wanted to talk about the color palette because um, I love bright colors. As you can see, I'm, I don't mind wearing them. But in my home, I've, I don't know what it is. I've, I feel better when everything is subtle and it's like light and it's airy. But I didn't want to like just do all white like I have done before. So I wanted to bring in some color, and so I did. I found this really nice honey, kind of like a, a muted honey, uh, with just like little small touches of like a uh, muted terracotta. Um, so th that's, that was my color palette. I hope you guys like it. I know some of you love the traditional um, fall uh, colors, which is fine too. I, I like them too. I think that, as you can see, I'm wearing it, but just for my home is and that's just who i am and it's okay if you guys like bright colors and you guys like to put uh tons of uh all the fall colors together that works too uh, but this is just another way of decorating your home if you do want to change it up a bit so anyways let me show you my um i did this uh, flower arrangement i also didn't want to make it too it's all fake flowers um, I didn't want to put too much flowers, so it's more like, um, it, well, you can see it. It's, it has a lot of different types of like, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what they're called, but as you can see, there there are some branches and some, you know, greens and just a little bit of greenery here and there and just stuff like that. Um, but anyways, you can check it out. So that's all I did on this side of the shelf and just keeping it simple. Then come on over here. Um, this setup that I have right here on my console, the good thing about it is that I can always switch it because that happens to me a lot. I don't know if it happens to you guys where you guys get sick and tired of seeing the same thing over and over again, I do. Um, and so this arrangement right here can easily be put on my coffee table or on my dining room table. I can switch it up, you know, during this whole time, like during this whole fall season. Um, and if I go to the store and I see something I like and then I want to change it up a little bit, then I'll do that. So anyways, this is uh, my setup for my little console table. Candles. I love candles. They're always so inviting. They always create such a nice atmosphere. And, um, and I've always said that in all my videos. You know, if anything, if you guys don't want to like decorate and put so much stuff, just candles will do it. Um, right here on my mantle. Again, I, I did it um, very simple, not not very flowery at all. Just branches, again, kind of the same uh, picks and stuff that I use for my flower, for my arrangement. Um, and then my wreath, which I got at Target, like I want to say three, four years ago. Um, but I still wanted to use it because I, you know, I find that sometimes we buy beautiful things and then we place them in our garage and then we never see them again. and um it's one of those things i don't want to do that i want to like use what i have even if i've had it for years if it still works for me if i still like it then i'm going to try to use it and then we're going to move on to my coffee table kept it very very simple very minimal um 
I, actually, there's really nothing, no, no like fall stuff. I just feel that fall stuff, it's all around me. So I, I always try to keep one thing kind of clean from all that, just so then it can bring balance. And um, that's just the way I do things. Um, and it always works for me. I just think it's good for my for my eyes. I want to you know walk around my home and feel like okay, it's not throwing out fall like everywhere. But you know there's like a little space where it's still you know it's just still simple. Um, my couch. I I went with the, those colors again. The the honey colors and the terra very muted terracotta. Very very muted terracotta pillows. Um, I love these pillows. The funny thing about it is that in the store, um, and this may happen a lot, so keep that in mind. In the store, usually the lights from, you know, Home Goods and Joann's and Michael's, and they're very fluorescent. And sometimes, um, when you when you're looking for a specific color, when you're looking for something in particular, you might you might actually find it, but because of the color in the stores, you sometimes might just not go for it and you might be like oh, i don't like it i just i think it's not the color that i really want so you're confused about the color sometimes um that used to happen to me a lot until i caught on like you know what what am i doing the lighting in the stores is not the same the lighting in my home so why not just get it if it doesn't work out i can always return it but you know just keep that in mind too um, don't shy away from certain colors that you see at the store because sometimes that might be the color that you you like And then in my kitchen, uh, there is absolutely nothing like I don't really decorate my kitchen All I did was added this branches on this piece that I have right here and I thought that was more than enough So for my dining section um, All I did was the centerpiece. I used my wood board and um, I use branches. Uh, that's one thing I love about fall branches. I know maybe that's not in for a lot of people, but I like it. It works for me. Um, and I just, I, I want to, you know, when I look at my table, I want to be able to enjoy it. And so this is my vibe. And, you know, again, I didn't want to overdo it, but I, I definitely wanted to put some type of pumpkins on my table. So this is what I went for this time. And then right here, let me show you guys my how I decorated my tier, three tier um, station. It's usually for drinks. I'll, I'll probably include like some, some straws in here and like, you know, little sugar packs and stuff like that for like if we have guests and um, we're doing coffee or we're doing drinks. But usually this is like my little drink station, um, as you can see. <laughs> And then right over here on the rest of the shelf, I usually put things that I do use like when entertaining, like all my um, plates and stuff like that that I'll probably end up using and my cylinders, which I'll probably put candles and whatnot. So basically that's it. On the side of the walls, I did the little, um, just very small wreath. Um, I found those at Joann's this year. I thought they were really cute. Um, I'm not very big on little things, but um, originally, I'll be honest with you guys, I had purchased some thinking I was going to put a candle inside and put them in my table. And I thought that would have been enough too. That would have been fine. But then I really wanted it to have more of a pumpkin look in my table. And so I tried combining both and I didn't like how it looked. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to use them for what they are for put them in my wall and just, you know, it's okay. Just enjoy them, um, although they're kind of small. Um, and usually they would look really nice, like on a small window, like a kitchen window or like a door window. Um, but since I bought two, I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna put them together. I'm gonna put them, you know, kind of side to side just to create a nice balance. But, um, and so yeah, that's what I did for my, for my wall. So for this section right here, um, I put, just this thing I got from Target like last year, which I didn't even end up using last year. And I just thought it was cute. I thought it was, had that little bit of that rustic feel that I was trying to incorporate. Um, and then right here on my little table, I just, I did something really simple. Um, and that's it, all I did. And then in this frame, which I have something to tell you guys, um, in this frame, you see this little dollies right here. 
they're actually uh, called dandy dollies. I've been away for a while, so I haven't talked to you guys for a bit, but I have actually, I've already um, been able to do different things. <laughs> One of them is I wrote a children's book and the characters are eight friends. And of course the main character is Dandy when she was a little girl. And, um, and so I'm excited about that because it just got released and you can find it at Barnes & Noble and I'll put all the info in case you guys are interested, in case you guys want to buy it for your friends, kids, or if you have your own kids. And the message behind it uh, that I want to create for, because I want to do a series of books, teaching our kids about just values and stuff like that and different messages, you're going to have to get it so then you guys can see what I'm all about. I'll put everything down on the link so you guys, if you guys are interested, you guys can just go ahead and check it out. Also, you guys can follow me at Dandy Dollies on Instagram and um, you guys can find out everything I'm doing and then along with that, I'm doing merch. So um, these are actually part of stickers and so if you guys are interested, uh, I'll be doing that and then postcards and along other stuff. And now this little section right here, it's obviously, you can see this is where my door is at. Um, I liked, I wanted to create something where if I was going to go shopping, you can just get a little bag and head out, head on out. And then right here, I just put the sign, which I found last year, um, actually two years ago. And, um, I think I got it at Joann's and I just thought it was so cute that it says welcome to our patch and on my door I kept it simple I um originally I think this is for like a um a lantern or I don't know maybe it is for a door um it just has a, a different it's not a, your typical wreath um but I liked it and I got this one believe it or not I got this one at Home Depot so yeah that's my door little arrangement and so i hope you guys liked my fall tour so take care and i hope to see you soon on my next video